very good morning students so this is charan sir so today uh, i would like to explain about the concept called probability theory see guys in the po1 which has been reduced to the 30% syllabus that has to be taught once again as a bridge course of second puc ordered by the government so we have decided the whatever syllabus reduced in the first puc like probability theory as well as random experiment concept those two concepts which i am going to take the videos and send you the links clear so let us learn the concept called probability theory fine so let us concentrate on the 30% reduced syllabus as a bridge course in second puc as you all know that government has decided that you all uh, were passed to promoted to second puc so straight away instead of uh, starting the second puc we would like to explain the reduced syllabus which has been removed in pu1 those concepts we are going to discuss so let us see the concept one probability theory which is very very important which has gone in the pu1 i mean in the reduced syllabus it has been removed but we are going to start the concept probability theory so first and foremost introduction what is the introduction of probability theory where it was originated actually see the origin place of probability theory started from the concept called theory of games and chances as you all know that this probability probably means it's a chance right 50% half half probability or probability we can say it as a chance and definitely it's a uncertainty okay we cannot certainly fix that probability case means we cannot fix that certainly it is called as an uncertainty probability concept indirectly the meaning of probability is uncertainty clear now this probability concept was first developed by galileo laplace bernoulli kolmogorov so there are many such kind of statisticians and mathematicians which has been improved developed the concept of probability theory in many ways right so still there are many other people who has been developed and generated and implemented the concept of probability now here this probability theory was first developed by Galileo, Bernoulli, Laplace, Kolmogorov, and many other statisticians and physicians, mathematicians. They are there. Many are there, right? Even Fisher is also there. Now, this concept is first originated in the concept called theory of games and chances, right? Now, for example, generally in a class, we can say that probably the so and so student may get first rank it's certainly uncertainty it is like 50 50 possible cases isn't it we cannot fix up if you fix up that is not a probability remember so where it is uncertainty possibility probable cases 50 50 percentage half of chances all such cases were we call it as a probability this probability is uh, developed by all these people clear now what is the definition of probability see it is a numerical measure of occurrence of an event we can say it as a occurrence happening of an event so it's a statistical measure numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event we can say it as a probability definition chance of occurrence of an event so probability is nothing but a chance of occurrence of an event it is a numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event happening of an event that to clearly it is uncertainty remember so there is certainly we cannot fix up it is clearly uncertainty the definition of probability is what you need to write probability theory or the probability means it is a numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event we call it as a probability what it is it's a numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event in a singular way we can write it as a chance of occurrence of an event called as a probability clear guys now what do you mean by experiment generally as you all know that experiment means well defined results where you conduct right so what is the meaning of experiment any process which yields which gets the well defined results 
that itself called as an experiment i repeat once again what is the definition of experiment any process which yields well defined results or statistical data is called as an experiment what do you mean by outcome the result what it is coming from the output what it is coming that itself called as an outcome clear guys so experiment what is the definition any process which yields well defined results or a statistical data is called as experiment what do you mean by outcome the result of an experiment is called as an outcome whatever the result you get from the experiment that itself called as an outcome next types of experiments see usually there are two different types of experiments one is deterministic experiment next one is random experiment we can call it as a probabilistic experiment clear guys so how many types we have two types of experiment one is deterministic and the one is a random experiments what exactly the meaning of deterministic deterministic is nothing but well defined if you fix the outcome unique outcome see whatever the experiment you do suppose for example if a coin is biased coin so for example biased coin in the sense one side head and even the other side is also head right both the sides head head 100 times 1000 times n number of times you toss what would be the outcome for that coin head only clear because it is a biased coin clear guys even in a die you take it all the six faces if you have the same number whatever the die you roll the number remains same output remains same so output well in advance which is fixed certainly you are deciding well in advance this would be the outcome of an experiment which has been a unique that itself is called as a deterministic experiment so what is the definition of deterministic experiment exactly an experiment which has a unique outcome which has unique outcome we can say as a fixed outcome also an experiment which has a unique outcome called as a deterministic experiment you do n number of trials right n number of times you uh, do the experiment or n number of times you do the trials of any kind of experiment but outcome would be unique fixed clear so that kind of such kind of experiments we call it as a deterministic experiment just now i gave you the example also example for deterministic is noting the water temperature at different time points see normal water you take it check the temperature it remains same right cold water it remains same isn't it so cold water if you take it if you just check the temperature the temperature remains same if you check even after half an hour or after 1 hour or after 2 hours the cold water temperature remains same right so that is a unique fixed one at the same time if you take it as a biased coin biased coin means as i said that both the sides tail tail or both the sides head head you must be, you must have observed in the picture called shole right n number of tosses you do outcome remains same clear so such experiments we call it as a deterministic an experiment which has an unique outcome irrespective of what experiment or n number of times you do the trial clear such experiments we call it as a deterministic experiment quite opposite the random experiment what do you mean by random experiment the experiment random the name itself it says that randomly it means which doesn't have any unique outcome which has unique outcome that is deterministic which doesn't have unique outcome that itself called as a random experiment nothing but a probabilistic experiments clear guys so deterministic means an experiment which has unique outcome probabilistic experiment means an experiment which doesn't have unique outcome for example both the sides head and tail if you toss you cannot say that only head appears or only tail appears it may be head or tail probable cases between head and tail six faces coin uh, dies if you throw from 1 to 6 number any number can appear it may be repeated number or it may be separate number from 1 to 6 any possible cases we can do right so probable cases because you cannot fix if you toss a coin how can we fix that definitely it appears head or it appears tail we cannot 
if it is a biased coin we can if it is unbiased coin we cannot so such kind of experiments we call it as a random experiments or probabilistic situations probabilistic experiments so definitely the probability theory concept completely depending on what kind of experiments now random experiments or probabilistic situations the whole probability concept depends upon the random experiments not the deterministic deterministic means which is fixed unique outcome so there is no probable cases there 50 50 or possibility but definitely this deterministic situation is a certain situation look exactly fixed kind of situation but very random experiment it is uncertain we cannot fix up clear so which it doesn't have unique outcome next measuring the area of a circle see for deterministic one more example circle you have drawn with radius right whenever you check that radius area remains same so it is unique suppose for example one bangle you take it keep it draw a circle right so that circle measurement will not change even if you check 100 times also or 100 times if you draw also the bangle because the size of the angle is a unit fixed clear so if you draw a circle exactly the size will be fixed if you draw n number of times that situation such experiments are deterministic random experiments are not like that right so random experiments are uh, tossing a coin throwing a die uh, when uh, four stones are there throwing towards the wall right right any coin any uh, stone can hit the uh, wall or all the four cannot either one can hit or two can hit or three can hit or all the four can hit or none can hit so there are many possibility cases we cannot fix it only one hit or only two hit just like if you go to any exhibitions and all there we used to play right throwing the ball or else throwing the rings so there are all possible probability cases they will be giving you six rings throwing all the six possibility all the six may drop on the this thing prize money or any one or none clear so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 possibility cases you have or none cases so these many options you have such experiments are called as a probabilistic or random experiments clear guys shooting a balloon and then throwing a arrow and i mean hitting the tree uh, throwing stones throwing rings so all these kind of experiments are called as a random experiments are you clear guys difference between deterministic and random deterministic which has a unique outcome random experiment which doesn't have an unique outcome that is the difference between deterministic and random experiments so random experiment means which doesn't have any unique outcome for example rolling a die number of heads obtaining when two coins are tossed all these are called as a random experiments next probability theory is concerned only with analysis of random experiment as i said probability theory is confined only with the concept of random experiments but not the deterministic so probability probabilistic situations only we have to uh, calculate observe not the deterministic situations clear coming to the last one sample space what do you mean by sample space whatever the random experiment you are doing these outcomes the results of those random experiment if you take it in a set set means you know right if you take it in a set the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment suppose throwing a die 1 2 3 4 5 6 all these possible outcomes right in here 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> set of all possible outcomes of an experiment of throwing a die so that itself called as a sample space denoted by capital letter yes any random experiment you do the results the outcomes which are coming out from the experiment those outcomes all the possible outcomes not few all the possible outcomes if you are taking in a set that itself called as a sample space denoted by capital letter yes clear guys so today in the introduction part of probability theory this is what so definition of probability is it's a numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event right now 
What is the introduction? It was first developed by Galileo, Bernoulli, and so and so, Kolmogro, many others are there. And it has been taken from the concept called theory of games and chances. And then what is the definition? Uh, it's a numerical measure of chance of occurrence of an event, uncertainty of an event. What do you mean by experiment? Any process which yields the outcomes, well-defined results of statistical data. That itself called as an experiment. Right? The outcomes of an experiment we call it as a outcome. I mean the results of an experiment we call it as an outcome. There are two different types of experiments. Number one is deterministic experiment. Number two is probabilistic, nothing but random experiment. What do you mean by deterministic? An experiment which have unique outcomes. Right? Which wherein are uh, uh, wherein identically repeated the number of times an experiment. If the outcome is fixed, that is what is a deterministic. What do you mean by probabilistic or random experiment? The uh, identically distributed. I mean, we can say it as a the identical experiment outcomes of an experiment which doesn't have unique outcome. For example. n number of times repeatedly identically you have done the experiment right where each and every time the outcome remains same or it may change probable cases 50 50 where in deterministic it won't change it is unique but in random experiment probabilistic it is not unique it is not always unique clear are you clear guys it is not always unique suppose throwing a uh, tossing a coin one time head appears Who knows that second time also head appears, third time also head appears, fourth time tail appears. That is what I said. Always it is not unique. It may be a fifty-fifty chances, right? Same it may appear or it will change. But in case of deterministic, always same it appears. But in case of random experiment, same or it change, right? So it is not always unique. Such experiments we call it as a random experiments. What do you mean by a sample space? Sample space is nothing but the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment called as a sample space, denoted by yes. So we get what are the possible outcomes? One, two, six. All these possible outcomes must be drawn between the set, right? Tossing of a coin, head and tail. So head and tail must be written in the set. The set of all possible outcomes of an experiment we call it as a uh, sample space. Clear, guys, and it is denoted by capital S. Yes. So, with this, I am going to wind up the video one introduction of probability. So, tomorrow, I'll be uh, sending the link of the remaining definitions, basic definitions of probability concept. Hope you are following the video, right? So, kindly observe the videos, whichever has been sent so far. Learn properly and. Take it seriously, the concept of probability theory, because it helps even in your mathematics part also. Remember, guys, both in P1 and P2, probability theory is there even in your mathematics, which has almost 10 to 12 marks weightage in mathematics. So do not leave. This will definitely help you even to get maximum marks in mathematics also in the concept of probability. Clear, guys? So I hope you are following. So thoroughly you uh, practice these all. Uh, uh, I mean videos, whatever has been sent, you practice it, you write it. So learn properly all the concepts. If you have any queries, we will have a uh, query session also through online or when whenever college begins offline, that time also we can have. So kindly follow this chapter. So with this, I am going to wind up this video. Stay home, stay safe, be healthy. Thank you. Have a nice day.